Hi, I'm Renita Luck, Director of Online Learning here at Darton State College, and I want to spend the next few moments sharing with you some tips and hints for using Georgia View, our learning management system, more effectively. Before you log into Georgia View, you should notice a few features available to you on the login page. First, and a very important one, is the maintenance schedule. When you click this link, it will open a page for you and display all of the times throughout the semester when maintenance will be performed on the system, which means during this time, the classroom is not available to you. You need to be aware of these dates and plan your classwork accordingly. There is also information for you on this screen for accessing the help desk and after hours support, as well as a system checker for you to ensure that your computer is ready for class. Once you log into Georgia View, you are taken to the home page. Georgia View is divided into widgets. These widgets are identified by the dark red bar with white lettering across the top. When you first log into Georgia View, you are presented with several different widgets on the home page, which include my courses, news, and my settings, among others. The important thing to remember is that this is the home page, and so everything that you review or do on this page is global, which means it affects everything in Georgia View. The first widget to explore and update is the My Settings widget. Here you can upload your profile information, updated account settings, and set notifications. To update your profile, simply click on the profile link. This opens the profile dialog box where you can enter contact information, upload a profile picture, and enter other information about your hobbies and preferences. This information can be viewed by your classmates to help you make connections online. Remember, Darton State College has a profile picture policy. You can access it from the login page of Georgia View. Be sure that you review the policy before you upload your photo. When you are finished with all of your profile settings, simply click Save and Close. Now let's take a look at account settings. Click the link and you are taken to the account settings dialog box. We want to focus first on the discussions and email tabs. So let's click on the Discussions tab. Read and review the options that you have available and make your personal selections. I recommend that you experiment with the grid view and the reading view for discussion post and then decide which fits your personality best. One really important setting to check is the Reply Settings. If you uncheck this setting, your discussion post will be less cluttered and easier for your instructor to review and grade. So when you've made all your selections and you're happy with what you have chosen, click Save and then click on the Email tab. Review all these settings, but be sure to check, if it isn't already, the Save a Copy of each outgoing message to the Sent Mail folder. This will help you keep documentation of all your correspondence for each class. When you have the settings the way you prefer, click Save and Close. You should now be back at the home page under the My Settings widget, so let's click Notifications. This opens the Notifications dialog box. This can be very helpful to you as a student. Here you can enter an email address and mobile number so that you are notified when certain events occur in the online classroom. To register your no mobile number, click on the Register Your Mobile and a dialog box appears. Enter the requested information and click Save. You'll be sent a confirmation code text to your phone. Enter that confirmation code and click Confirm. Your mobile number will be stored and ready to receive notification text from the Learning Management System. Now you want to choose exactly what alerts to receive. I recommend selecting notifications for grades and news items at a minimum, and if you have trouble keeping up with due dates, include Dropbox and quiz notifications as well. Choose any custom notifications you may have, I usually only check include the grade in the notification, and then click Save. Before you click into your My Courses widget to enter a classroom, be sure that you read the News widget. This News widget on the home page contains global information. In other words, it's not course specific. It's campus-wide announcements, so you don't want to forget to read this important information. 
One of your DART 1000 course assignments this semester will be to watch a video covering navigating Georgia View. Be sure to watch this video carefully to get a clear understanding of how to maneuver in your online courses. Remember that each online course is different, just as each on-campus course is. You should spend time at the beginning of each semester familiarizing yourself with the course, its content, and your instructor's expectations. If you ever have a question about Georgia View or do not see a course in your listing that you expect to see, call the Online Learning Division as quickly as possible so that we can help you troubleshoot the problem before you get behind in your coursework. The Learning Management System helps organize and store all of the course instruction and all of your coursework. The more comfortable you are using its features, the more successful you will be as an online student.